Welcome to the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel, home of the Granite Security Package. Like and subscribe for more content. Hey guys, so on Thursday there's a video that's going to release about uh, Integral Edition and the latest update and uh, implementing Granite and One Core API to create like a three core package of the Integral system. However, this system is that system. So I want to give you guys uh, I guess a bonus video, a precursor to the other video um, of some detail that I think is awesome. And I'd really like to share it with you. So in previous videos, we went over, you know, configuring browsers like MyPal to connect to the internet and do things. And don't get me wrong, there's really nothing wrong with that application. I mean, there's a bunch of things wrong with a variety of them that we tested out, but that one seems to be relatively okay. But I'm going to show you something that's crazy cool that really pretty much negates the use of MyPal at all on Windows XP as long as you run the Integral, the Granite, and the One Core API package as a complete package. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to copy over a bunch of files. So I created a Windows 10 x86 system and I downloaded all the browser configurations that I need. But really I only need two installers. I need the Google Chrome installer version 49 and I need the Firefox installer for version 52. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, which is pretty sweet, is we're gonna just grab the 49 package out of the actual Granite Security Update, the software, and we're gonna right click on this bad boy and we're just gonna choose open. And what this is gonna do is it's going to set up the registry and the configuration to run the older version of Google Chrome, which is what we have here. And if we go to the help and about Google Chrome, we're gonna see version 49. So at this point, we have version 49 of Google Chrome installed on our Integral Granite One Core package. But what I'm going to do now is going to be fun. And I mean fun in the sense that, hey, this was never designed to work this way, but we're going to make it work that way. Now, there's a browser out there that I actually like. I'm sure a lot of you guys use it, which is Brave. Now, Brave never was designed to work on Windows XP. Brave didn't really come out until Windows 7. But... I want to run Brave on XP. I'm going to show you how. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to open the file location for Google Chrome. And you're going to see the path is, my, is documents and settings, admin, admin's the user, local settings, application data, um, Google Chrome and application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything in here and I'm going to do shift delete. Yep, we're going to delete it all. All right, so now at this point, what I want to do is I want to go into the Brave browser, Brave software, Brave browser, application. And I'm going to grab all of this stuff. I'm going to choose to copy and I'm going to choose to paste. Now, this is the latest build of Brave. This is, was downloaded today on a Windows 10 system. The next thing we do is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to choose to copy and I'm going to choose to paste the shortcut. Now, at this point, I can actually run this. So I'm just going to double click on Brave. And there you go. Brave is running on Windows XP. Now, what if you don't want to just run Brave? What if you want to run multiple different browsers on your system and you want them to all be new? You should be able to do that, right? What we're going to do is we're going to go up a level here. We have Google Chrome. We have application and user data. We're going to go one more level up and we're going to choose new folder. And we're going to call this Chrome 25. I'm going to open that up and let that sit for a second. We're going to go back, back back, back, and we're going to go into our Chrome here, into Google, into Chrome, into application, and we're going to grab version 135, copy, and paste it in here. Then we're going to grab Chrome here, and we're going to copy it over, but first we'll shift delete the actual shortcut that goes nowhere. So let's do copy, and then let's do paste shortcut. Now at this point, I could double click on this guy, and I could get the latest build of Google Chrome, which we could confirm by going to help and about Google Chrome, version 135 running on Windows XP. But I mean, why stop there, right? So we have now Chrome, we have Brave, but we're gonna do another folder here. Let's call it Vivaldi. We'll open up Vivaldi and then we'll go back here and we'll go up a level and up a level and up a level. And there's Vivaldi. 
and there's application. Now let's copy this entire Vivaldi folder here and paste. And then let's grab Vivaldi here and let's do copy and let's do paste shortcut and then we'll run Vivaldi on our Windows XP too. And there you go, there's Vivaldi. And just to show that I'm not actually cheating here, we could go in here and choose properties. I'm going to see Windows XP, Service Pack 3 with 16 gigs of memory on a 12-core Ryzen 9 processor. So Vivaldi works too on Windows XP. Yeah, let's exit. But what if we want to, like, continue on here? We don't want to just run these browsers. You know, that would be giving up halfway through. Maybe we want to run the latest version of Firefox too. So for Firefox, what we have to do is we actually have to install it. And the last version that worked on Windows XP was version 52. So we're going to have to install version 52 first. And then we're going to replace the files of version 52, which will be in Program Files, Mozilla Firefox. We're going to uncheck this and just choose to install and finish. And now at this point, we should be able to go in here. We could do f open file location, right? So we know that this is now in Mozilla Firefox, which is right here. And if we go up a level here and we go back to our tools directory, back into browsers, into Firefox, Mozilla Firefox, and then we take all of the data that's in here currently, delete it, and replace it with the Firefox data from the new Firefox. So we just do Control A and then Shift Delete. Yeah, let's get rid of all of it. Okay, come over here and Control A. We'll do Copy and then we'll do Paste. Okay, let's just make sure that our shortcut points to the right location. So let's do properties. And it is firefox.exe. So at this point, we should be able to just double click on this thing and run it. And there we go, Firefox is now running. So if we do help, and about Firefox, we have version 137, 32-bit, running on Windows XP. So let me ask you guys, would you rather run the modern, real browsers on your Windows XP system than run the MyPal and the other generic knockoffs? Personally, I think this is a much better option than running things like MyPal and God knows what else on my Windows XP system. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that video releases on Thursday. We'll teach you how to do all this stuff to get you prepped for running these browsers on your Intragola system, running one core API and the Granite package. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel. Find the content of this video at https generictechsupport.com forward slash hashtag channel.